Follows a guide to dating by the class of '96. One, the not so subtle approach. Do you remember saying to me, "I think we like each other better if we knew each other more"? I thought it was just to get you in bed. David. Two, the please say yes, I'm desperate approach. Do I even remotely stand a chance? Oh dear. Three, you can never be too popular approach. No, you guys. And finally, the I'm gonna ask him if it kills me approach. Whitney, I am asking you out, okay? Deal with it. It's nothing like young love, right? For more lessons in love, college life, and friendship, get switched on to Class of 96. Saturday at 7, only on Sky One. Look, next door's got a satellite TV. And he's always bragging about it. I said to him the other day, I hope you've got a TV license for that, because you do need a license, you know. He told me to shut up and mind my own business. I said, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, he knocked on his door this morning, made him dish of the day. ice cream, tender coconut, tempting ice cream, all wrapped in delicious chocolate. Bounty ice cream, the cool taste of paradise. Oh, you should try this. Oh, Morris! Cats weren't made to sweat. I'll feel like new soon. Wanna bet? Oh, Morris. And I've got a treat for you. Mm -mm, she can't get round me. Nine lives. Bite-sized slices with beef. Oh, just this once. Delicious meals even the most finicky cats can't resist. Nine lives. Anything less is just cat food. <laughs> Lips back and first, pleasure, great taste, motivating, good person, cool talking, how I walk fast, love and never give a cool fizzin. You don't have to be beautiful. Excellent! To turn me on. Wow, did you see that? I just need your body, baby. From dusk till dawn. Mm. You don't need experience. Great time at Turn me out. You just leave it all up to me. I'll show you what it's all about. Here's Johnny. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your good head. Yes. You will be missing the kissing if you don't subscribe to Sky's three great movie channels. Just call now. You're the one. This is Sky One, a part of the British Sky Broadcasting Network. Welcome to Games World. Tonight is Flight Night with the Eliminator. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, too kind! Oh, too kind! Welcome indeed to Games World, aren't you? Just glad that weekend's over. What a bore, no Fight Nights, but we're back now. Now, there's one thing I have to say. It's a very special edition tonight on Monday of The Eliminator. As you know, we're the most successful game show ever in the history of world television. And this has rather brought us into conflict with the makers of video games magazines, because, of course, their sales have plummeted, because people are saying, hey, 
Why buy and read about it when we can watch the whole thing with Millsy and the crew all week? So we've thrown out the hand of friendship to the video games magazines by inviting along five of their top players to come and compete tonight on Games World. So without further ado, please give a huge Games World welcome to tonight's contestants. <laughs> First, in the orange corner, please welcome Adam Peters. I'm 22 years old. I work for Game Zone magazine. My favourite game is Super Pro Protector on the Super NES. As for my opponents, I think they're all good game players, but not quite good enough. And in the yellow corner, Dave Perry. I'm 26 years old. I work for Sega Pro magazine. I'm the world champion at NHLPA hockey, without a doubt. And uh, I'm an unstoppable games animal. And in the green corner, Matt Bilby! I'm 26 years old, I'm the editor of Superplay magazine. I 